Have you ever wondered how a year completes 365 days? Well, buckle up, because we're about to embark on a fascinating journey around the sun. Imagine the Earth as a little blue marble, spinning on an imaginary line called an axis. Now, imagine the sun, our nearest star, as a giant glowing ball of gas. The Earth spins around the sun, just like a top spins around in a circle. This journey the Earth takes around the sun is what we call a year. You might have noticed that we divide our year into 12 months, but where does the number 365 come from? Well, the Earth doesn't just whip around the sun in a flash, it takes its sweet time specifically, about 365 and a quarter days. That's right, it takes more than 365 days for the Earth to complete its journey around the sun, but what about that quarter of a day? It adds up, doesn't it? Over four years, those quarters combine to make an entire day. So every four years, we add an extra day to our calendar. We call this a leap year, and the extra day falls on the 29th of February. Now you might be thinking, what happens if we didn't adjust for that extra day every four years? Well, if we didn't, our calendar would slowly drift out of sync with the Earth's seasons. Imagine celebrating Christmas in the middle of summer. So, in a nutshell, a year is the time it takes for the Earth to travel around the sun. It lasts 365 days because that's how long it takes for our planet to complete its journey. And every four years, we add an extra day to our calendar to keep everything in line with the Earth's orbit. Isn't it amazing how the universe works in such precise ways? So, the next time you celebrate a new year, you'll know that you're not just marking the passing of time, but also the completion of another epic journey around the sun. Remember, every day is a new spin and every year is a new trip around the sun. So keep exploring, keep learning, and enjoy the ride.